Hey guys, what's going on? I am Arlie. Welcome back to Shantae Risky's Revenge. And we're gonna save the game because we just beat Ammo Baron's Tower for the second time using the elephant. Because why wouldn't an elephant be able to kill many tiny creatures? I wasn't quick enough. Anyway, we're still trying to find all the secrets of the desert. I am going to go back to Scuttletown very shortly because I have more than enough to upgrade a few things, especially since I got those extra magic jams. Um, fuck. At least there's no knockback. I, I would really be... It would suck if there was knockback. There we go. Don't want to deal with you. Alright, here, I believe is where I gotta branch off and find the extra shit. This is where the tent was, right? I don't fucking remember. Anyway, I'm gonna try streamline this again, get through. Ooh, that was smooth, yes. Alright. I felt like stomping it. I didn't have to stomp it, but I did. Ooh, uh, fire, right? Yes. What? Oh, okay. I was like, what? So this is how you get the monkey bullet. Climbing a wall, hold away from the wall, and then attack to launch like a bullet. So you go like this, and then boom. It's great. So now I have both of those power-ups, and I can do damn near anything that I want. Which means I can also reach a lot of those places that were impossible to reach before. So, I would like to go back to Lilac Fields, please. I'm gonna upgrade the fuck out of myself, and then I'm gonna set out on a harrowing adventure to find everything that I could possibly find. Now that time I was quick enough weird. So I have like six magic jugs? Either five or six magic jams or whatever. Um, so that's going to come in handy. I'm going to upgrade my hair and maybe the fire. Because I do remember there being a part where I need the triple fireball for something. Some kind of extra. But hair first. Hair is always first. Alright, super silky cream. Smooth in shapes for max hair power. Yes. Please. Crush bomb. Blah, 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 blah. I wish they... Well, not all of them need, uh... Thank God. Yes. Oh, and there's an even... The flamethrower is great. Um... Yeah, I'll buy the magic vials. Alright. Now I am maxed out on all of that stuff, so that's nice. I have the upgrade, which looks a little like that, and it's super effective. It's very nice. Uh, bah, 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 bah. No, not gonna go that way. Most of the villager type stuff has not changed yet, because we haven't actually done anything in regards to um, the story. It, but that's about to change because now we're going to go and actually finish Mermaid Cliffs the way that it's meant to be finished. I'm also going to make sure to double check all of the little secrets I found. Yeah, it's so much, so much better when you have the stomp. Maybe I should collect these just to be uh, thorough. It's great. Like, if you can do it fast enough, it's super effective. Alright, cool. Dust. They're all dust.
It's another thing I love about games like this is that they always do kind of start off a little bit slow, but then they immediately pick up the more you power yourself up, which does make the, the pacing of the game feel right, in my opinion. Like, it just, it feels like, yes, the game should be a little slower when you're still learning everything, but as you power yourself up and you upgrade, you should, it, you should be more focused on finding things, getting to new levels, and defeating bosses, rather than learning. So, it definitely has that, that good feel. Alright, so this is what I'm pretty sure I have to do. Yes, okay. And now there's land down here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remain the monkey in case I need more... Well, I guess not, but... Still, just to be safe. Eh, it was a bad idea! It was a bad idea! The bats are faster than the monkey. Get away from me! Alright, alright. And they're all still following me, holy shit. They just do not stop. Yeah, I don't care about you. It looks like it's repeating. But it's not, I assure you. This game does not have those kind of shitty, uh, trick, trick and trolls like, uh, like Mario Brothers did. Hooray! Yeah, damn it, I forgot. Stop doing that. Alright, time to clock in. Now I can warp to Mermaid Cliffs. Now this water I can go in, even though it won't help me. Not yet, at least. I forgot if I could break the boardwalk. No. I think some of them I can. Or maybe there's a special one. Hey, look! Another house! I wonder if it's the boathouse. It is! What's this? Until you're packing hot coffee, beat it! Ah! And don't forget to leave room for egg. It's fine, that's the, that's exactly why they put a warp squid there, because nobody wants to come all this way to find out that you have to go all the way back on foot. Um, I have to look, I have to see Skye, she's gonna give me the rotten egg, and I think she's also gonna teach me how to make a fine cup of joe. So... Not to worry, our run is not in jeopardy of taking super long. <laughs> I honestly, it's probably only a couple more episodes left, from what I can remember. It's definitely shorter than the other Shantae games, but obviously they, uh, you know, they expand with every game that they make, so that's another reason I'm super excited for uh, Seven Sirens, because it definitely promises to be a very, a much larger game comparatively. So, this? No. Yes! Hey, Shantae, you've got coffee beans and a coffee machine? Want some help with that? Yes. Oh, bother. This is no good. The coffee machine's all busted. Up, busted up. Well, it's nothing my wrench can't repair. Come on, boy. Let's do your thing. Open wide. Because his name is Wrench, and she uses him as a wrench. Um, there's supposed to be a rotten egg in that... You wouldn't happen to have an egg I could borrow, would you? You're really pushing the boundaries of friendship there. Thanks to you, I've got one rotten egg too many. Don't bother with the puppy dog eyes. One tall coffee, extra room for stank. I got a latte. You owe me one. No more zombie barista. Thank you, Sky. Wrench, you're the best pals ever. Now, to take this to the boathouse. You can just keep the coffee machine. I have no more need for it. Oh, we're progressing very, very quickly. I like it. 
I hate it when it seems like I'm stuck somewhere. So, like, honestly, my first run through of this game, like, when I played it for the first time, I was fucking going into tunnels and shit all over the place. I was lost. I was like, where the fuck do I go? Even though, like, they were giving me hints, but it didn't help. At least it didn't help me as much as I would have liked. Which is why it's always easier when you run a game a second or a third time. Although this is only the second time I've ever run this game. This isn't a game I've won multiple, multiple times like I have with Shantae and the Pirate's Curse and Shantae Half Genie Hero. So I actually think I'm doing pretty good for second time around and it has been a while. Look who's back. Wasn't sure you'd keep your end of the deal. Whatever. Here's your lousy drink. A latte? That's a chick's drink. Well, you remembered Poe's egg anyway, so at least he'll shut his gab. It smells wonderful. You can't tell where the foam ends and the scrambled eggs begin. Ah. So anyways, here's the ticket to getting into Hypno Baron's joint. <laughs> you blow it up. Oh boy, it's a blob. What am I supposed to do? Sculpt my way in? It ain't clay. That there's enough plastic explosive to blast his wimpy door in the next week. All you need now is a detonator. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Just stick this wad to the Baron's door. Hit it with an electrical spark and stand back for the fireworks. This had better work. Oh, it will. I also think the first time I played this, I was sure that a detonator, like, I... I can't remember if I actually fucked this up, but I might have actually tried to find an item called a detonator instead of just using the stupid storm cloud, which is what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, that's right. I can whip a little faster now. Maybe it's sad that I didn't notice, because there's it's supposed to be a noticeable difference. Pretty, I hope this isn't the long way. Like, all I remember is that it was on Mermaid Cliffs, but I do not remember if it was near the beginning or the end, so I'm just gonna walk back and hope that it doesn't take too long. Whatever, it'll get me more money. Hey, somehow I ended up getting that without getting hit. Damn it, I always miss the last hit. I'm just not fast enough. Shit. If it does turn out that I need to grind more at Ammo Baron's place later on in this playthrough, I'll probably likely do that off camera. And I'll just mention that I, I did some grinding, because who wants to see that, you know? Like, you, at this point, you all know what it looks like. There's no point in me showing that on camera again. It'll, it'll be for simplicity's sake, I assure you. These guys do some damage. What I really need to do is up my fucking hearts. I forgot how to do that. Alright. This is the place. Stick the plastic explosive here? That does it. Now all I need is a bolt of energy. Why did it only work when I did it directly in the middle? That's so weird. Alright, I'm in. Hypno Baron Seaside Resort. A seaside shanty, if you will. Oh, shit. I remember this. I remember this. 
Uh, this is a long fucking temple, so this is going to be a to-be-continued. Sorry, guys. It, it's... You have to shift the temple around a bunch and use these eyes, and it's it's really convoluted. But you'll see it next time, I promise. Just, just stay tuned, alright? Thanks for watching.